in the gospel, it says that Jesus is here to save who? Not just Israel, right? He's here to save all mankind. Right? Description. So Jesus is not here to save. You know he's not here to save. I'm gonna break it down. We gonna we gonna build up on point point point. That's in the gospel. The gospel means the good news, right? Yeah. Right. That's what the gospel means. So what is the good news? We gonna show you what Christ died, right? All right. You said for the salvation of brother. You know what the gospel is, brother. Right? Brother, you can't just say that. You know what the gospel is? It's the good news. Good news. Good tidings, right? Good news, right? No, tidings are different. That's what. Pull See, up, we're uh, trying, we're trying to, put up good tidings to go by in, the, in, the, in the Hebrew. You said we're trying to go by what? Tidings? Yeah, go, go, no, you, you go. So, so when you say the gospel, when you look at the Greek, the Greek no. word for the Injil, gospel. Wait, repeat that in Greek. Greek, Greek word, the, the etymology of Injil, gospel, which comes from the Greek, right? Okay. Is tidings in, in, that, in that definition? It's good news, it's good and, news. and then also I, I another know. definition of it is gospel. Exactly, it has nothing to do with titles. Right? That's what the word says, though. No, 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 no. But if you look up the if you look up the actual etymology the of the word, of right? Isaiah. Chapter it means 61 God's good news. Good news. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings. To preach, to preach good, good tidings. tidings. Good news. We but never disagree with you. Look, look, brother. Look, we never disagree with you that it means good news. We know it means good news. But we just showing you where do you find but that's them one, talking that's about one, the gospel. That's one section that's telling you. Tide. Oh, you think I'm talking about tithes? Oh, that's what, is that. What you're no, I'm not talking about like tithes. You talking about like with the pre, with the priest? I'm not talking about that. Tidings. T I D. Yeah. So it said preach the good tidings. Right. 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 This, this is where you originally find the gospel. Let me let me let's break down the verse. All right. We'll start at the top. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings. To preach good tidings unto the meek. Unto the meek. Isaiah speaking. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To the captives. Right, so this the, the, the good news is for a specific people. Who are the captives? Right, we got the Israelites. It's gonna break it down. What about the Gentiles? We're gonna break, we're gonna break it all down. And among the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to come for all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion in Zion in Zion in Zion in Zion that's the Israelites right so does God change that's the thing right we're trying to take God you gotta deal with that that's not we read from verse 1 brother trying to take God's word out of context because honestly if you really believe right that God is actually here to save Israel alone mm -hmm. then you do contradict God himself huh. because he says he's here to save all mankind right so that's all sin you got I want I want a scripture for everything I'm you're sinner, saying right I'm a sinner right? okay so when Jesus died on the mm -hmm. cross he paid he paid the tithe right for sinners Matthew. right he could all in debt right from our head our forefather Adam right okay. so we, we all got that debt right in us we all have that debt, every single human, right? So if we all have that debt, mm -hmm. why would God say your debt won't be clear, but just Israel's will be clear? So then after that, you read out the olive branch, right? Where it's talking Who's about the Jews about? and the Gentiles. Who, so being, uh, I'm going to let you finish. Right? Right? Okay. You read out the olive branch, right? Okay. Which is God telling you that the Gentiles, <laughs> too, will come in okay. and draft it in. So do you know the difference? You know what a Jew is? I know the Jew. What's a Jew? A Jew is somebody from the land of Judah. Right. So you only have three tribes from the from the land of Judah. That would be it, uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Now, what about the rest? What do the rest of those people get called? They're not Jews. So, all right, but so you go to the Gentiles. We, no, that's the people we gotta, who are outside. Right. Jewish. Right. They're they Israelites. So can you bring up the verse where it says that they will be grafted in? You talking about Romans 11? We gonna bring it out. Let me bring this verse up. Yep. Hold that and keep Romans 11 as well. This is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But break down why Christ said this. Right? Then we're gonna break it down. We're gonna go, we gonna go. We got Romans 11 getting out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel. Why did the Lord say that? He said, he said, he said what? He said, I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 
Who's the Lord Shi? Who was that? Who are the Lord Shi? The Israelites. Anybody who listens to the gospel of the Lord Shi, brother. Brother. That's why he. That's why we say the Lord is our shepherd. That goes for anybody, brother. If you are lost, buddy. Brother, we need a verse that says you are an Israelite, even if you don't descend from Israel. You're trying to make. You're trying to make the whole body. No, you trying to. You trying to make it fit your narrative. You gotta. You gotta show me where it says that, brother. You gotta show me where it says that. All right, bring that out again. You can't make them Bring it out. But he answered and said, we all do the damnation. Hey, listen up, brother. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, and every time we go through the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Israelites are known as the sheep. The lost sheep. The Israelites are always talking Israel. First Kings 22 and 19. Him Israel is the only time he's talking about the lost sheep. Tell me that's in the Bible. Brother, it's always talking about the Israelites. Tell me that, that'd be a lot. Let's show you who the Israelites are. Let's show you who the sheep are, In the Bible. Brother, he speaks on the, no, no, ask him a question. Listen, brother, in in the Bible, when he speaks on the lost sheep. We are Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 6. Bring it out. My people have been lost sheep. My people have been lost sheep. Who is the people? The, the Israelites. God. The Israelites. Child, so so how, is it, how is he talking about that in the Old Testament? How is he talking about the other nations? Well, his people is in captivity. How is he talking about that? So when they in the Babylonian captivity, how can he be talking about everybody? Son of God? How can answer the question, you brother? You're not answering no question. You're just talking. I'm a son of God. You're just talking. Right, talk. Right, talk to me. You're just going back and forth. You're not saying. We breaking it down. We breaking it. All right. So if he's not a racist, why is it prophecy saying that he's gonna bring people into captivity? Right, brother. That God is a race. Keep reading. That we're not serving the same Lord. We're not serving the same Lord. We gonna go to Romans 11 because you don't want to hear anything. We're not serving the same Lord. Romans 23. How do you know your family's not mixed? It's the book of Romans chapter 11 verse 11. Bring it out. I say then. Have they stumbled that they shall fall? God forbid. But rather, through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles to provoke them to jealousy. All right, so do you know what that's talking about? Romans 11 and 11? Because that's what you was talking about, right? Read it again. Romans 11 and 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they shall fall? God forbid. But rather, through their, sorry, but rather through their fall, salvation is come Unto the Gentiles right. to provoke them to jealousy. Right. So what, what is that talking about? Where's that reference? What, what, what is it referencing? Can, Salvation. Can, I'm asking you a question, what? brother. Why we, listen, I'm gonna break it down. Just you answer want, the question. Answer the question, brother. You want to? You want me? You want to overtalk me? Because you don't allow me. All right, brother. The thing is, right? Why in the Bible would he even speak about salvation to the Gentiles if there is no salvation for Gentiles? Brother. Multiple times over the Bible he's telling you that there's salvation for the Gentiles. When he Brother. speaks on the Jews, okay. he's telling you grafted in by the olive branch and the Same. Gentiles. And that wasn't the verse that I was speaking of. But at the same time, he's telling you that there will be salvation for the Gentiles. There are prophets, right? Yeah. What, were all the prophets from Israel? Yes. All the prophets all of from Israel. All of them. All of the prophets marry a, a woman from Israel. They don't gotta marry a woman. Your, your seed is based on your all father. All the prophets from Israel. Right? So it's no such thing no, as no, being mixed. No, no. I'm gonna ask question. All the prophets from yes. Israel, right? Yes. Did all the prophets marry people from Israel? Brother, that does not Did matter. Show me a law that says on, there's something man. against that. Come on, man, because you just said, show me a law where it says God anything against that, brother. You just said God is racist. Yes. So the prophets what's your point, who are learning from God, what's right? your point? He should be racist as well. Yeah, he running have from they Romans married 11. anybody? We gonna break down Romans Israel, 11. Man. Or have Read they married down. outside of Israel? The Book of First Corinthians, right. chapter 12 and verse number two. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Are you talking to the church in Corinth? Where is that in? Greece, right? Right? He said, You know that ye were Gentiles, right? Keep reading. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Carried away into dumb idols. That's how you become a Gentile. So when you take. No, no, no. Listen, brother. Right? When you're getting carried away, right? You're not serving your God no more. You're living like a heathen. You're living uncircumcised. That's how you become a Gentile. So when you're talking about the Israelites, the northern kingdom, those. Israelites are cut off and they are getting called Gentiles. That's, the That's thing. right. right. That's Bring the that thing. That's the thing. No, you're trying to make it. He like know the that he way, were the Gentiles. Gentiles. He know that he were Gentiles. 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 That's crazy. Carried away That's crazy. Gentiles. Carried away That's unto these dumb idols, even as ye so were Gentiles blessed. Is only Verse three. Wherefore I give you to Gentiles understand. Go to First Corinthians ten and one. 
right? It's different Gentiles, it's different contexts. So that's contexts. what I'm saying, it's brother. Different contexts. So you just use one we context it, We break it down, Bible. brother. No, you did not. We break you use one down. context of Gentiles. You're not listening. You two, give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Y'all yeah, want to race this God all day, brother, and I, I respect brother, it. You're not listening. But my God is that. My God, my God, my Jesus Christ, right? He's here to save all. Hey, you know what I'm Well, your God don't exist, brother. Right. Your God does not exist. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 14. A fool also, a fool also is full of words. A damn fool is full of words. You're not trying to listen, brother. That's your point. We hear your point. We went to Romans 11. The branch in Romans 11. That's where it's at. In Romans 11. You know what I'm saying? I pray that you got that bondage. And I'm thinking that people going to be in slavery, man. A man cannot tell what shall be. Right. And what shall be after him? Right, we can't explain none of the scriptures because the brother a fool, man. Right? Now go back to the scriptures that I had you on before. What else I had you on? God is not a racist. Right. Uh, go, go to, God which, what else I had you on before that? God is not a racist. He loves all people. Repent, turn to Jesus Christ, and tell him that you love They have him. moved me to jealousy with that which is not Yahweh, which is not God. Right, because the Israelites, right, the northern kingdom, right, all the Israelites are getting caught up into idolatry, right, they move the Lord to jealousy. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. Right, and he's going to move us to jealousy. He's going to move the Jews to jealousy with them that are not a people. It's talking about the northern kingdom, brother. It's talking about the Israelites, right? It's not talking about the damn Gentiles, these damn heathens that you damn, damn cooning for, bro. You're not going to get nowhere cooning for these damn white people, man. Nowhere cooning for these damn Asians, man. Yeah, we know we racist. Right? We believe in the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shab. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, and verse 19. Right away, right away. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Right, the Lord has never dealt with those other nations. Right. You gotta pull a book, chapter, verse to prove it, brother. The right. scripture said, prove all yeah. things, brother. Yeah. If you can't prove things, keep your damn mouth shut, man. Right. What are you saying? Yeah. Hebrews. Yeah. Jerome, chapter 2, verse 27. Yeah. And he shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel. In the what? That I'm in the midst of Israel. And that I'm the Lord your God, and none else, and none, and and none, none else. else. Right, nobody else is God but the Israelites, man. That's, that's right. Right, you come up babbling and don't even got no scriptures. Talking no. about the olive branch, don't even know what chapter it's in. Right. right. You got to study, brother, right. and repent. Right. Now, how you doing, brother? How you doing? Yeah, what, what, what you believe in? You, you believe that you're an Israelite? I know we the chosen people. Yeah, that's right, bro. Right. We right. are. Brother. We the Israelites. We ain't come on no slave ship. We was already here. Uh, some of us came some on slave ship. Some of us came on the slave ship, but... Yeah. yeah, you got some of us that was already here, right? right? They was brought over on ships too, right? This right. land was never known before, right. right? And then they was brought over here. That'd be the Hispanics and Native Americans. They was brought over here, right? And then you got the so-called black man and the Haitian man and the Jamaican man. They was brought over here after them, right? But we all peep the same people. We Israelites, right? right. right. Now, not even that we brown, cause some of them, some of us look like we probably white, but we, but we Israelites, that's right? That's right? And right. you got some people that look black, but they damn Hamites, that's and the Lord right. not dealing with a damn Canaanite, man. That's right. That's right. right. Let me show you how the Lord feel about them damn Africans, man. Give me Exodus 11 and 7. All right. Give me Matthew 15 and verse number 26. Exodus chapter 11 and verse number 7. Yeah. And reads. But against any of the children of Israel, right. shall not a dog move his tongue. Shall not a what? Shall, shall not, not a, a dog, dog move his tongue. tongue. So the Lord said, them Egyptians are dogs, man. Right? He's not dealing with those Egyptians, those people that's in Africa right now. Right? He only dealing with you, brother. Right? So you got to repent and you got to keep the commandments. Right? You don't want to be living like a damn dog. Right? You know what them Africans do? They stick their head inside a cow ass, man. Right? right? They be drinking cow piss. Yeah. Right. They all kind of things, man. Right. So, so what you got to do, brother, is you got to repent. You got to come back to your nationality. Right? right? You got to return it to your God, right? Give me Malachi chapter 3 and verse 7. You can drop everything. Y'all can drop everything y'all got, man. Look at Malachi 
3 verse 7. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances. Right? Because we went away from the from the law, statutes, and commandments and our heritage given by the Most High God. Right? We stopped living like that. Right? And have not kept them. Right. Return unto me. What? Return, return unto, unto me. me. Right? And I will return unto you. Right. So you got to return unto the Lord, brother. Right. You got to be. You got to be. You got to get your mind right and start to keep these commandments. Right. You want true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right. So you got to understand who you are first, and then you got to start to keep the commandments. Right. To your best of ability. Right. And you got to be out here on this side with us. Come on. All right. Give me Psalm chapter one ten one eleven and verse ten. All right. Then give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight. Give me Daniel nine and eleven. Okay, one eleven verse ten. Psalms chapter 111 and verse number 10. It reads, verse 10. Let the children be continued. Psalms 111 and verse number 10. Come back, brother. That bus ain't going nowhere. You can wait. Give me Genesis 35 and 2. Our people got to start to repent, man. They're wicked as hell, man. All right, cooning for the so-called white man, the so-called Asian, the damn East Indian man, all right, just to get salvation. I mean, if they, if this was their God, man, they wouldn't, they wouldn't ask for salvation for us. Right. They would continue to keep us on the bottom, man. All right, so we gotta make ourselves likewise the same mind, man. All right, and then don't give a damn about these other nations. The same way they don't care about us. Hey, brother, you got five seconds. Bro, right. this is Genesis chapter thirty-five, verse two. Uh, then Jacob said unto his household. And to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you. Do what? Put, put away, away the strange gods that are among you. Right, that's what we telling our people to do, man. They got to put away the strange gods that's before them, man. The damn Christianity doctrine, white Jesus, right, Islam, spirituality, space. Right, they got to put away these strange gods and repent and start to keep the Lord. I mean, start to serve the Lord, man. Right, what you got? Bring that up. Right, are we, are we going to remain on the bottom, man? Right, we got to remain to get the crumbs of the Bronx, the crumbs of Milwaukee, the crumbs of Chicago, and the crumbs of everything in this society, man. Right, we got to repent, man. All right, give me Luke chapter 16 and 19. It's Isaiah chapter 1 and 1. Oh. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, right. which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem and the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and, and, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. O ye heavens, verse 3. The ox north is owner. And verse 2. Hear, O ye heavens, and give ear, O earth. For Yahweh hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against me. And they have rebelled against me. Because that's all we do, man. Right? We, we, we claim we want to get closer to God. Or we claim we want to be on top. Right, but we continue to rebel against the Most High, man. Right, with no remorse. Right? Y'all right? say y'all want to serve God. But then you down wearing pants. But then you down got a pork demon that you can't let go of. And then you got it down, down you don't want to read, man. Right? Our people don't want to keep any commandments, man. They just want to live recklessly like the other nations. Right? Keep reading. Verse 3. The ox doth his owner, right. and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Right? And now when we give people the words of life, they don't even want to consider who they are, man. They so focused up and caught up in the world and caught up on saving the other nations and all this other madness that they can't even consider who they are, man. They can't consider the works of the Most High, right? The brother talking about he don't believe in the Bible because of space and racism, right? The brother not considering none of the works. He not listening to nothing, right? Then you got the brother over there just worried about salvation. He's so worried about salvation for the so-called white man that he don't even consider that he an Israelite and that his salvation is on the line. Right. Right, keep right. reading. Verse 4. O sinful nation. Oh what? O sinful, sinful nation. Right. A people laden with iniquity. Right, we filled with iniquity, man. Filled with sins. We just want to murder. We just want to twerk and, and commit whoredoms, man. Right, we just want to commit straight wickedness, man. Right. A seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yehowah. Right. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going away backward. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Right. Ye will revoke more and more. Do ye will revoke more and more. Our people want to revoke more and more. Right? You tell them not to do something, they're going to go do it anyway. Hey, sisters, y'all got five seconds for the Bible? Sister. Sister. Sister with the black. Sister, nice sister with the crops. You got five seconds for the words of the Lord. With the beautiful crops. 
Right? They don't want to listen, man. Right? Stop! Put my foot down. Why should he be stricken anymore? He will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. But wounds and but wounds and bruises. Right now we feel with wounds and bruises, man. Right? I mean, and ain't nobody healing it. I mean, the so-called white man is not healing none of our issues with the Jesus Christ doctrine. Right? So why are we hearkening unto it, man? Right? Why are we hearkening unto Islam? The damn Arabs don't give a damn. Right? They just picking at your wounds, man, and making it worse, man. Right? They're not doing anything for it, man. Your wounds are still open and you bleeding, man. Right? Read this in Luke 16 and 19. This is Luke chapter 16 and verse 19. No. There was a certain rich man which, which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores. Right, that's us, man. Right, we Lazarus and we filled with sores, man, begging the so-called white man for anything. Right, begging for some to be equal, man, right. for social justice, man, social equality. I mean, it ain't gonna happen, man. Right, we stuck in this nation. We gotta deal with it until the Lord return, man. Right, so stop begging. It, 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 things not happening, man. Right. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Right now we want food stamps. We want damn, damn, damn Medicaid. Right, we want. <laughs> <laughs> right, we want all this madness, man. LMR. Right, we want, we think, we think living in the projects is okay, man. Right, we okay with the damn crumbs, man. We don't want the riches and the honor and the glory, man. Right, that's why people so damn stuck on their gods, man. That, that that this world then gave them, man. Those are the crumbs that make people feel good temporarily, man. Right, those crumbs can't fill you up, man. Right, eventually you're gonna starve to death. Moreover. The dogs came and licked his sores. They did what? The dogs came and licked his sores. Right now the other nations, they just come and pick at your sores, man. Kind of give you a crumb and then just, just kind of lick your sword. Right? Say, give, I'm going to give you Black Lives Matter and I'm going to give you damn more food stamps. Right? You're giving us damn false leaders like Martin Luther King, man. Right? I mean, those are just, those are crumbs and, and, and them licking on our sores. By making us think and they healing us when they're not doing a damn thing. Right. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And, hey, and in that day, are right, you gonna have the damn so-called white man, the so-called Asian man, right, and all these other nations, they gonna be in a low estate, man. Right, they gonna be begging us, man. Right for the crumbs. They gonna be wanting to eat from our, the crumbs of our table, just like the late the damn Canaanite in Matthew 15, man. Right, so we gotta come back to the Lord, man. Right, right y'all sisters got five seconds for the Bible, the Biblia. Right. Give me Daniel 7 and 18. Right. Look at Daniel chapter 7 and verse number 18. But the saints are the most high. What? But, but the, the saints, saints are the most high. high. Israelites, man, right? Is they gonna do something, man? Right? The ones that ain't begging for crumbs and expecting swords to get licked on, man. Shall take the kingdom. Shall what? Shall, Shall take, take the kingdom. Shall what? Shall, Shall take, take the kingdom. Right, we gonna take. Y'all got y'all got five seconds for the Bible. No. Five seconds. Why not, sister? Because we heard what I said earlier. What we say earlier? Confound it. <laughs> give me John. Give me John six and twenty. <laughs> Give me Job 6 and 20. She said, y'all know what y'all said. <laughs> the founding. Sister, you gotta repent. You two other sisters, y'all both gotta repent. Right. This is Job chapter 6. I can't hear you. No homosexuals. Right. This is Job chapter 6 and verse 20. Yeah. They were confounded. They were what? They, they were, were confounded. confounded right? Because they had hoped they came thither and were ashamed. Right, and people be confounded, man, when they come and talk to us, man. Like the brothers, right? The brothers that just left, they was confounded, so right. he had to walk off, man. I mean, the wicked flee. Right. Right, the sister was confounded. We had, she talking about she said, she heard what we said, but didn't hear a damn thing, man. Probably wasn't even over here, man. Right, and people gonna get confounded, right? Bring that out again, though. Daniel 7 and 18. Oh. It reads, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. What's up, brother? You believe in the Bible? What? You believe in the Bible? Bible? Yeah. Not really. That Why was, not? That was written by a man, so... So what? 
What, what does that mean, right? Give me Psalm 10 and 5. Give me Psalms 68 and 11. And there's another, another brother, give me 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. Oh, no, I don't got no I got my food right here, Shall he lay his honor? Right, so the Lord, he's going to put it in man's spirit to write his words now. Right. Right, he's not. Well, just, they, so what if they, it's made well, by a man? Well, humans took it another route, then. Yeah, because they that? misinterpreted it. Okay. Right, but does that mean that anything changed from the No, Bible? not really. I know there's an old, my right, old right, mighty Bible. You got to come that. listen, then. I respect that. But you don't respect it enough if you can't this sit is, here. This is, this, nah, I got I to go, brother. Come on, That's man. Don't take it personal like that. Yeah, but I'm not. It's not bad, brother. Everything was written by a man. Right. Everything. That's right. Write down right. dictionary. Right. Everything was written by a man. Right. Right. You got five seconds, brother. Come on, man. Get back here, brother. Don't turn away. Get back here, brother. Brother, brother. Brother, that's a so-called white woman. You gotta let her leave her alone, man. Right. Give me sorry, Chuck. Give me sorry, Chuck. Proverbs 28 and 9. God. Right? Yeah. Proverbs 28 and 9. This place is crazy. Yeah. Right? 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 It's Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. Bring it out. Save thy people. Oh, and Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Right. The Lord not hearing nobody prayers out here that don't want to hear nothing that he got to say. Right. right. The Lord not dealing with that, man. Right. You trying to have a friendship with the world. Then you got a friend trying to say, I got a friendship with God. I mean, that's not how it works. Right. Give me James 4 and 4. Right. Give me, give me Revelation chapter 3 and verse 15. Right. Give me Revelation 3 and 15. You can't, can't be if, iffy sided, man. Right. You can't be on one side and the other side, man. You got to stick full, full with the Lord. That's right. right. It's James chapter 4 and verse 4. Right. Right. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Right. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. What? Is the, the enemy, enemy of God. God. Right. If you live in like these other nations, I mean, we're just going to be real with you. The Lord sees you as an enemy, right? Because you don't want to come back to his ways, man. Right? And that's why people are going to get destroyed, man, in these last days by the famine, right? By the pestilence, right? By the nukes, right. the damn guns. Right, everything is gonna come full circle, and then you're gonna be wondering that day why you can't, why you can't make it out. You're gonna be fully consumed, man. Right, give me Sirach 12 and 6, because the Lord sees you as an enemy now. He sees you as a so-called white man. Right, he sees you as an Asian man that, and you just didn't want to repent. Right, and come back to your nationality. Right, Sirach 12 and 6, and you give me Malachi 4 and 1. Sirach chapter 12 and verse number 6. Yeah. For the Most High. Hate of sinners. For the most high. Hate of sinners. Right, so we know the most high hates sinners. Right? So that, I mean that just shows that he hates Esau as well. Right? They the most profane people ever, man. Right? They damn kill everybody. They put damn homosexuality in everybody. Make us worship other gods. I mean, so the Lord hates him for sure. Right? But if you continue to sin, the Lord is gonna he, he ain't gonna view he gonna view you as an enemy. He's gonna have hate towards you, man. Right? And that's why it's gonna put you to death, man. And then he's gonna have to resurrect you, right, and bring you back into the kingdom. Right, as one, as as a child again, man, to get right, right. But give me Malachi four and one, and give me Ma Mark one and fifteen. It's Malachi just the four verse one. No. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Shall what? That shall, shall burn, burn as an oven. Right? We in that day, man. Right, the day is coming that the the damn whole earth is gonna burn as an oven, man. Right, all hell gonna break loose, man, and you can't escape it, man. Right, keep reading. And all the proud, yeah. And all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be stubble. Right? And if you're being proud and you don't want to hear the words of the Lord, you think you right, right? And you just you just bucking up against us, man, right? Against the words of the Lord, right? You're going to be stubble, man. Right? You're going to get consumed with the fire. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, 
that it shall leave them neither neither root nor branch. Right, and you're going to be all burnt up, right? This is my closing priest. I bring it up. Mark 1 and 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Right, and now we got to repent, and we got to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right, because the kingdom is here, man. All hell is going to start breaking loose, man. But with that, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call me Asherah. Call me Asherah. Call me Asherah. Call me Asherah. Call me Asherah.